right hello students today let us study one of the important four marks question frequently asked question in ipe in junior interzoology that is osmo regulatory problems faced by fresh water fishes or fresh water animals so water related adaptations in fresh water habitat first let us take the problems faced by fishes living in fresh water students as you know the salinity in the fresh water is less and the salinity in the fish body is more now what problem this fish faces and how it overcomes and what are the adaptations seen in these fishes students as you know that molecules move from a level of low concentration to high concentration see here water salinity is less and fish body inside concentration salt concentration is high then the biggest problem what this fish faces is movement of molecules water inside the body and we use a word called endosmosis endosmosis now how this fish tackles the problem of endosmosis right to overcome this endosmosis problem fish should develop certain adaptations the first adaptation what we see in these fishes it has to lower its body concentration and makes and it should make the concentration equivalent to the water or habitat in which it is present right for that it has well developed nephrons large number of glomerular kidneys well developed nephrons large nephrons glomerular kidneys we call here more filtration of blood and salts are removed from the body so that the salinity decreases inside the body and it can become equivalent to the habitat salinity this is how fresh water fishes overcome the problem of osmo regulation hope you understood students now students when this fish is gone losing salts through the body from the body then to maintain to compensate its body's metabolic activities it requires some salts then how it will get the salts back so near the gills of these fishes near gills chloride absorbing cells are present chloride absorbing cells are present and these chloride absorbing cells they absorb salts from the habitat from the water bodies so that it can compensate the osmo regulation the loss of the salts to maintain osmo regulation or homeostasis this is how the fishes overcome osmo regulatory problems this is how one more time students this is how the fresh water fishes maintains uh, osmo regulation war comes the problem so called endosmosis now students who only fishes will live in fresh water no let us discuss about how other organisms will tackle this problem how do they tackle now first if we take the example of some protists unicellular organisms you know mainly fresh water bodies will get dries up during summer season so in summer when water bodies dries up 
then how these organisms handle that problem if you take the protists unicellular organisms they form cyst they form cyst around itself and that cyst will protect them from desiccation and again when favorable conditions restores they will again fertilize again they will flourish now if you observe freshwater sponges freshwater sponges how do these sponges tackle this problem so sponges during summer season when water bodies are getting decreased or getting dries up they tend to develop some asexual reproducing bodies called gemmules gemmules are internal buds gemmules are internal buds right and again in protozoans which are unicellular organisms to maintain osmoregulation to maintain osmoregulation they have special cell organelles called contractile vacuoles contractile vacuoles in protozoans helps in maintaining osmoregulation helps in maintaining osmoregulation right one more last example with respect to fresh water habitat so if you focus the example which is given in the reader lungfish african lungfish african what is the zoological name of african lungfish protopterus protopterus is the zoological name of african lungfish so this african lungfish during summer season when water bodies rise up it forms a cocoon or it enters into estivation so that it may remain dormant and can survive during that unfavorable season and again the favorable season restores when rains starts so this cocoon will breaks up and again this fish will start to get activated and lead normal life in the water bodies so that's about adaptations observed in fresh water animals to overcome water problems to overcome osmoregulatory problems hope students you have understood this answer so this may be asked for four marks question and as again and again students i am saying this is an faq frequently asked question a simple diagrams and simple content students and you can score 100% marks all the best ms education academy preparing world worthy individuals